there and welcome to Wild for the Outdoors. I'm T-Mac, the host, and today we're going to be talking about some pretty cool stuff I got from Raptor Razors. Uh, we're going to work with Raptor Razors this year and I tell you what, they have got some really, really cool stuff. I'm digging it so far, I promise you that. Uh, what are we going to start with? Um, basically, Raptor Razor is the ultimate big game skinning knives. Uh, you can tell how they got their name you know looks like a raptor claw so I'm gonna start by just kinda going over all this stuff and first of all thank you Raptor Razor for wanting to work with Wall for the Outdoors really appreciate it and um, this is the big game skinning kit right here uh, this is called the Mako blade we'll look at it and uh, this is the big game skinner and here let me just put this together Every one of these come with a right or left handed handle, a screwdriver built right into your uh, handle so you can take out the blades and switch them out if, as you need to. And uh, this one in there, I'll, I'll show you that one in there, it's got some really cool accessories with it too. But you just put that in there, screw that on, and now you've got a skinning gut hook. Uh, of course you're going to use this side for uh, gutting the animal or coming down the skin and then this is your uh, kind of like a push blade that you're going to use to put the skin. It has a little bit of gap there so you can put this on the meat and push and you can skin that animal. So that's a really neat feature and like I said it's got the built-in uh, screwdriver you can take those out and pop in a new blade if you need to and it comes in these pretty cool case right here that you just snap it in there it lines up with the screws and you can carry that in your pack and if you want it to be flatter you just take it apart put it in your pack same way with the Mako blade the one thing I really like about these blades is uh, they are designed to skin. I mean everything about them is about skinning. This one too has the Phillips screwdriver in there if you need it. And you're not going to really hold it like this. Anybody who's done any skinning knows that you want your finger on the back of the blade. I have a custom knife that I designed with a blade very similar to this and I made it about the same length and I wanted it that way so I could put my finger on there and that you're just going to use as a skinner. The housing is very solid and this is a saw of course they have a couple different blades a fine tooth and a jagged tooth and you know if you're a deer hunter like me tree stands you gotta have a saw and this is a darn good saw and to switch blades just like everything else just unscrew it and you got the tool you need right there and this handle even has a little storage area that you can take out and you've got extra screws in there just in case you lose them and you can also make you a little survival you know that's pretty popular now make you a little put you a couple matches in there a little fishing kit something like that and you know with these they're right and left handed so however you use it I use it right handed so I put the long side out to the right and that's how I'm going to use it if I was left handed just put it in the other way and then they got some meat hooks here <laughs> these are pretty cool the big hook you know I do a lot of processing I do all my own processing whether it be hog, deer, whatever me hook you're going to use them. Now this little kit this is like the ultimate hunting kit for me uh, comes in a nice compact pouch in the back pocket you got extra blades you got your Mako blades and uh, the marine blades you got let's see there's four right there one two three four five six seven blades you got another raptor razor 
this is a marine blade it doesn't have the blade in the back this is for conventional gutting so this doesn't rub up against the intestines as you pull it through the animal uh, I am a conventional gutter probably going to use this a lot and I hope I use it a lot there's Mako Bay and this is you know aluminum housing so it's light very durable and you know it's not going to break got two handles in here one for each blade once again unscrew that you got your Phillips head for changing out blades this one here has also has the uh, little compartment in the back this one actually comes with a compass just like the old survival knife handles used to back in the day and you got some extra screws got a rubber grommet right there so water resistant waterproof you're not gonna get blood all in there you can also carry some extra bits uh, like according to what kind of bow you're using what kind of sights you're using you can get the little allen bits really cheap and this comes out that Phillips head comes right out so you could put an allen head bit in there for your bow Justin sights whatever a flathead tip whatever you want in there you can carry a couple extras in there Wait, make sure I'm doing this right once again you've got the Mako blade you don't wanna you're not gonna want a skin like this I mean put that finger up there man that's gonna do real good and these things are razor razor sharp so looking forward to getting out uh, got a hog hunt coming up this weekend I'm going to get out there I'm going to probably pack this kit right here it's nice and compact will fit right in my bag in one pocket and I'm going to take it out and do a little hog hunting but man I tell you what this is some really really great stuff I knew they knew what they were talking about when I seen this blade right here like I said I designed a knife and had it custom built and it looks the blade is just almost just identical to this so I could hold it with my finger out there and that way your blade becomes an extension of your hand so Raptor Razor thanks a lot digging the shirt and the cool decals and looking forward to working with you all this season <sighs> the hog hunt coming up and then it's whitetail deer season so going to be putting these suckers to the test of course I'll be filming it as I do it showing y'all you know just how well they work thanks for watching God bless y'all I love you and I'll see you next time